Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to talk unified backlogs. If you're using Agile development in ServiceNow, you've probably heard the word unified backlog. What the heck is unified backlog? I'm going to break it down. I'm going to make it simple. First, let's start with the definition of what is a backlog. In ServiceNow, a backlog is a list of stories, okay? So you can create a list of stories that haven't been completed, that aren't part of a sprint, and they could be related, related to products, they could be related to teams, epics, whatever. You'll need to see here in a second where the unification comes in. If you haven't had a backlog set up, what you want to do is you want to head over to your Agile board within ServiceNow. So that's under the Agile development application, which you can see right there as it went away when I try to draw an arrow. So there's Agile development, there's Agile board. That'll bring you to right here. I don't have a backlog, so I'm going to create a backlog. And you can name your backlog whatever you want. You can have as many backlogs as you want. The purpose is to give you a place to go through and groom your stories. If you're not familiar with story grooming, what we're going to do is we're going to assign them to teams, we're going to add some points, put in some acceptance criteria, stuff like that. But for right now, let's give our, our backlog a name. I'm going to call this one the Dev Heads Backlog, all right? So this is for the Dev Heads team, and I'm looking for a task type is a story, so it's going to find any stories that are active and that are not part of a sprint, so they haven't been assigned anything. Um, so that's going to be our criteria. That's going to show me in my demo system and my uh, quite a bit of stories. So I got 819 stories that are showing here, and you can see them all. So this is what a backlog looks like. Now, if you're grooming a backlog, all you do is you come in here and you look at all the different fields you can fill out. So depending on how yours is configured, you might do a theme. You might assign an epic. You might assign some points. This one needs some points. So let's put some points in there, 25 points. Um, it might want to associate with a product or a release or an assignment group. So we want to say, hey, I want to give this to my dev heads team. So I'll just type in dev heads. Oh, I'll put a space in there dev heads and now it's going to go to my dev heads a group and once that's assigned to them it'll show up in the team backlog for them to assign to a group now maybe i'll put in a description this one's rank agents by number of tickets resolved um so we'll just see see sort of description right i'm going to be original here acceptance criteria please work all right so that's me grooming my stories if i wanted to i could come down here and i could define some scrum tasks I could use this new button and I could create some subtask for my story. That might be part of how I'm managing this particular one. Maybe I just need to break the story down. Uh, for most people, stories are pretty granular already. But let's go ahead and save that. Now I've gone through and that should fall out of my backlog. It's not going to show anymore. Well, there's another. Well, yeah, it does show anymore because it's still not assigned to a sprint. So it's actually going to keep showing on this board. But let's talk unified backlog. You just saw a story, but what about incidents or problems or other things in service now that's got to get done? And you have a team that's working through sprints and they're like, how am I supposed to pay attention to my agile queue, my sprint, and do all this other stuff? ServiceNow has got an answer. So if you look right here, I've got a triage board. And if I click on that, I can come in and see different things that I might want to associate with my backlog. So look at here, problems incidents, tasks, enhancements, anything in ServiceNow that is based off the task table. If you're not familiar with ServiceNow, lots of things are based off the task table. So if I wanted to say, I need to pull in my incidents so I can work on my incidents, here we go. I could pull an incident, there it is. I can pull an incident or incident task and associate and pull it into my backlog. I could do the same with change. If I wanted to pull in a change request, I could do the same with problem. If I wanted to pull in a problem, I could even, I don't know why you do this, I could even pull in a catalog task. Watch, watch this, catalog task, right? Here's one that might be familiar. What about a project task? You may have a project manager who's assigning you work and you want to put that into a sprint so you can manage it. You can do that. You can make a project task. Let's actually stick with incident in my example. You get the idea. We can pull any of these. I'm going to leave the criteria that the incident is still active and the agile story associated with the incident is still blank, meaning it hasn't been associated with a story yet. That's going to make sense here in a second. So. I now have a triage board with 2,420 incidents on it. I can go to that board and look at all the incidents and say, hey, I need to search for the one where um, it has user in the description, or maybe I want to search on a number. So I got all these user ones. Oh, there it is. User automatically logged out. 
all I do, I check this box and then I use this button here to add it to my backlog. Now what's cool, when this gets added to the backlog, it's gonna create this little Pac-Man ghost logo so that I can differentiate the incident from my normal stories that might be coming from epics or uh, products or stuff like that. So let's go all the way to the end here and we should see that incident down here at the very, very bottom. Look, there it is. Users automatically logged out. You see my ghost from Pac-Man right there. That is now part of my backlog. This is what they mean by unified backlog. We're bringing in other tasks from other applications into the backlog. When I pull it up, this is also cool. I get to see both the incident information and a companion story. So when someone's working through a sprint and they come across the incident that's in their backlog, they're gonna see all the incident details. Anything that the users put in there when they reported that incident, the short description, the long description, any additional comments, any notes, any related records, maybe it's a problem or a change request, the resolution information, what did the service desk do to actually fix this? Then they can come over to their story and do the same things I just showed you. Associate it with a theme or an epic or a product or a release or an assignment group. I'll just put this to my dev heads. I can put it to an assigned to, project, whatever, put in a description, We'll just do demo and some acceptance criteria. This is the unified backlog. This is where the magic is. So I just groomed a story that is related to an incident. It could have been a problem. It could have been a change. It could have been a project task. It could have been a, anything else that I wanna pull into my backlog. And this is what ServiceNow means by a unified backlog. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested in agile development backlogs. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.